thermonuclear ogre here and today I'm going to show you how to install FNV edit this is entirely necessary if you plan to have a large amount of mods which I do and you better so now you're gonna go over to this page on Nexus it'll be linked in the description as usual and you'll see this wonderful page with a heck of a lot of endorsements you see this you see a gopher video and you'll see all these patch notes. Now you're going to go over to files, click there, and you're going to see this. Don't worry, it's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. This is a false positive. Only one of the 55 scanners got tripped, and this is ridiculous, actually. Anyway, you're going to click download manually, and once you do you're going to see something like this. Go over to File Explorer, Downloads, and you're going to see this. Sorry for the bad segue. Now let me extract it. So I have seven, so that's why I can do that. So I'm going to extract files here. It goes by really fast. And you'll see this. So just to make sure no one fusses about a virus, which there are none. Well, that was great. Marabyte's almost crashed. Piece of junk. And now a scan with Symantec. So. There we go. This takes eons to process threats. And threat scan complete. Successfully threats identified. Zero. Bop. Close that. This takes a while. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, while that's going on in the background, you're, you're left with these files. See? Completed. File scanned. Risks zero. You're good. So you can see this. This is executable. And you're going to see these edit scripts. What you want to, what you want to do is, well, you can take all of these. It, it's kind of unnecessary actually well, not the archive you're gonna see these files edit scripts edit tips.txt fnv xyz very long name and then this you may as well keep this so copy or cut doesn't really matter and you're going to navigate over to wherever you have your game installed so my external drive secondary drive program files x86 steam Steam apps, common, and you're going to go on over to Fallout New Vegas. Once inside, you're going to see all this junk. Now, you're going to make a new folder. So, for example, I'm going to FNV edit supreme. Doesn't really matter. You're going to paste that in there. And then, for the piece de resistance, you're going to double click this. And look, oh boy, it's actually legitimate. Of course, it's legitimate, there's nothing wrong with this. So, as you can see here, all the plugins that you have selected for your game are stored in a configuration file, and this reads it. So, you'll scroll through this, and you'll see all this junk in my game. And I, I just I just unchecked. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. You can see this. This is a merge patch I've already made. I'm going to show you how to make a merge patch. So that's unnecessary. So you click OK. Once you have... Oh yeah, I forgot. When you install a new version, it gives you tips. I don't want tips. Go away. Go away. Oh, this is nice. I'm being heckled. Anyway, this garbage should disappear once it's finished. So you can see the progress here. That's the time. And this is what it's pondering. And then there's a little log. There you go. A little tips menu is gone because I I'm on a newer version. I was running an older version previously. 
and you're going to see all of this. This is your file structure. It's going through all your little plugins. And this is, well, a more concise list. Now, to make a merge patch, it's really easy. All you're going to do is right click in here somewhere, it doesn't really matter. Other, other, and you'll click on create merged patch. And then name it something. So, for example, this is my fourth merge patch, so merge v4. Whenever you add new mods, it's always a good idea to make a new merge patch and stop using the old ver the old merge patch you made. This way you'll have maximum compatibility, maximum game. You can click OK, and now you're going to think, well, wait a minute, nothing happened. That's incorrect. It did happen, it just didn't notify you. So you can see here, merge v4.esp, delicious. And you're actually going to click X. And then it's going to fuss, saying, oh, oh my gosh, what are you doing? This is a little save prompt. So merge v4.esp, click OK. Then it closes. And now open your mod manager of choice. For example, I'll use Nexus. Fallout New Vegas. And after a while, this will finish. Give it a second. And when it loads, like you'll see this. <clears throat> so you have your mod pane, plugin pane, and you can see this. So merge v3 I'm not using that anymore I'm using merge v4 ha -ha. so if you're switching out merge patches you just uncheck the merge and so you can see here these are the masters so for example Fallout New Vegas all of its DLC Fallout 3 all of its DLC Tale of Two Wastelands Mars Mutant Mod XYZ all that stuff and your pretty much good to go. Once you make sure that it's selected in here, you can close the mod manager window. If I go over to file location, you can run from the 4 gigabyte enabler. I prefer to use the enabler rather than the patcher. Here's the normal exe and all those stuff. So, well, a healthy backup of files. You should always do this. So, here are some INIs, default INIs, modded INIs. This is back when I did the patch tutorial. That's still there. And this is just for backups. It's it's up to you if you want to do that. And just launch the game through whatever method you want, and you will be good. Anyway, I am up for suggestions. Please let me know what you would like to watch in the future. I'm planning on remaking the NVSE plus 4 gigabyte tutorial in both the patcher and the enabler versions to completely alleviate confusion. I got some new editing software so that's, that should be really nice. And I'm also thinking of making a New Vegas in-depth analysis because, well, I have several thousand hours in it and I may as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments. If you have any concerns or issues with this, please let me know. I should respond to you relatively quickly. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And have a nice day.